Hey Baltimore, this is another video. I hope you take a real close look at it because I'm very excited about what the University of Maryland at Baltimore is doing. Uh, coupled with the city, they're offering $18,500 $18, in incentives for people who live in seven different neighborhoods in Baltimore City. Now, if you know somebody who's working at University of Maryland and they don't know about this, make sure that they do. I'm trying to grow Baltimore City. I'm talking with Sinai and other organizations and even said it to the GBC. Let's grow our city. So, hope you enjoy this this video. Let me just say, I know you all are excited. I am absolutely excited. And um, Jay, you're absolutely right. Time and time again, you know, I say it over and over again. And um, there's so many friends and partners in this room that understand the significance and the importance of doing this. Baltimore is a great city, a lot of challenges. And every day I tell people my day starts at 4.30 a.m. and I'm so willing to meet the challenge every single day. Uh, my day usually doesn't end until 10 or 11 o'clock at night, but it's okay because I believe in this city. I believe in the goodness and the greatness of this city. And we will meet all of our challenges, but it is efforts like this, Dr. Perman, that I believe will make the difference in the growth and expansion of our city. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge Pete uh, Hammond, who is my chief operating officer for the city of Baltimore. And we've acknowledged all the elected officials. If y'all need me to do it again, you know, because I got to work with these folks on a regular basis. You know, we're getting ready to go to Annapolis. We need some more money. So, Delegate Antonio Hayes, don't you forget it. Uh, John Bullock and Eric Costello, thank you. And to Congressman Cummings, folks, I just want to say I've got a major federal package for you all. You know, we have some infrastructure issues and we're going to get them fixed. But this day, this day, belongs to the University of Maryland, Baltimore, President Jay Perman, because you're absolutely right. During uh, the inauguration address, I asked those questions, but I ask it of all of us all the time. You know, I, I also remember saying uh, in that inauguration address, there are certain neighborhoods that if uh, properties weren't abandoned, were abandoned, that we would jump quickly to fix them. And University of Baltimore actually lies in the purview of many of those. And so you have taken up the mantle to bring about the difference that this city needs. And what is so great about University of Maryland coming across Martin Luther King Boulevard is their investment in this community. And Jay not only talks the talk, he walks the walk. He is a part of Baltimore, and we're grateful for that as well. So you do get to experience and understand the problems that we face. And the Southwest um, Partnership has just been extraordinary in terms of how you work with communities and neighborhoods to build them up and to let people know in these communities that there is hope. Because oftentimes we refer to some of these neighborhoods as poor neighborhoods, and I tell folks they're not poor neighborhoods. They may be underinvested in. In fact, there's some folks who lived in those neighborhoods and communities for decades who have been waiting for this kind of opportunity, this kind of investment. Because what this also does is it brings us together. It gets us not only working together, but living together and understanding that the diversity of our population is also among our strengths. And so as we continue to do these kinds of things, because I'm telling you, Jay, I'm asking everybody the same question. You know we asked it of Hopkins years ago, and they've done their part. But University of Maryland is such an integral part of our, our communities. We talk about the University of Maryland school. We talk about the University of Maryland hospital system. You know, all of us need to be a part of the solution. And that's what this is. This is a solution to how we increase population in our city. We've got to grow the population of Baltimore. We've got to change the narrative. And if anybody doesn't understand at this point what that means, and somebody asked me, uh, what does changing the narrative mean? It means that there are great things happening in our city. There are other stories to be told besides some of the problems around crime, because we're tackling those problems every day. And I can tell you that every day at 8 a.m., at the police department, we're squarely focused on reducing violence. We've got all of our agencies, Dr. Perman, working together. And let me tell you what that's done. Uh, when we put our commanders and all of our agencies in the room together, and the commander said to us, you know, the problem is, is that if there's a board of house or there's trash in the alleys or lights out in our city, that it takes us seven to 14 days to begin to solve those problems. I want you to know that we're down to 1.5 days, and that's just in 60 days. And while no life lost in this city should go unchallenged, 
I can tell you that just in the last two months of that focus, those individuals, we've developed relationships. I was just talking to one of my commanders in the back and I was saying, how's it going? She said, relationships are being developed. And relationships matter. The relationship that you have with our community matters. The engagement that you've had with our community matters. And it is what spurs interest in our city. It spurs partnerships in our city. It spurs relationships in our city. And it spurs the understanding that this is the city that will bring about the greatest change that America will ever see. Because I am committed. I am committed to these efforts and efforts like this, Carol, that will bring about the change that we need. The state of Maryland has been a tremendous partner in this effort, and I really thank you, Carol, Carol Gilbert, because you get it. I mean, you really do get it. And if you know, you're always there when we need you, and the dollars that are provided by the state certainly do make a difference. And I know that our partners, whether it is Live Baltimore, Downtown Partnership, our own Baltimore Housing and Office Home Ownership, the Southwest Partnership, but Live Baltimore, you too, have really stepped up because you recognize you know, that this is what we need. The incentive that we put on the table here, you know, says a lot, not just about the University of Maryland, but what our partners are willing to do. And it is that collaboration. I think if you were to hear my cabinet say, what is Mayor Pugh's favorite word? Collaboration, and I love the way doc, uh, I call him Dr. Chow. Mr. Chow says it, collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. Collaboration works. Because you, now you get to look in the eyes of people whose lives that you change. You get to see a neighborhood go from one area to the other. You get to see the change take place every single day. And so I am grateful. I commend you. I commend you, Dr. Perman, for focusing in on this. And yes, I said it during my inauguration. But what is so great is that you all are listening. I tell people, trust me. Because I still pinch myself every day that I get to do this work. People say, you're always smiling. I'm smiling because I'm happy, because I know that change will take place in this uh, community, in the city, and because I know that partners will continue to step up to the plate. So Dr. Perman, you get the award today for stepping up to the plate, for helping us to bring about the change, and all of you who partnered with us to bring about this change. And you know, I say to the city council folks, um, those who are really in leadership and are leading our city understand that it is the greatness of the city that will bring about the change. Look for the good in what we're doing. Look for the greatness in the people that we serve and understand that everybody wants to be a part of it. It's how we apply our resources that will make the difference in the future. Thank you, Dr. Perman. Thank you, all of our partners. Thank you for being a part of change that is meaningful to our city. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that video. Now, don't forget to tag somebody. Maybe they're interested. Maybe you might know somebody that's interested. Make sure you tag them.